Sea Travelers, welcome back on board Pride of America, day number four, and ported in the beautiful Hilo on the big island of Hawaii. Now, we are here today to explore the port and have a great time. My partner in crime is not here with me right now because he is actually going and getting a rental car so we can explore the island. So I'm gonna toss you over to him so he can show you that process and we'll meet back up and start our day. So let's get it started, day number four, and in the beautiful Hilo, Hawaii, begins right now. <laughs> So right when you exit the building, they had a shuttle van right here that had Avis and budget and things like that written on it. This is a free rental car shuttle. If you're using one of those companies, it will take you over to the airport to get your rental car. And if you're within the time frame, we'll also bring you back to the cruise port. I'm not sure if you saw it this morning. On the right side was Mauna Kea. On the left side is Mauna Loa. Is that, is that a black sand beach? Yes. So there's the van, it drops you off right there. You just walk across, budget is the first stall, Avis is the third, and then they pick up from that same location up until 4.30 p.m. All right, I have the car. Now I did want to point out when we were in Oahu and when we were on Maui, they had more of like the quick go, like you've already pre-registered, just go and get your car kind of thing. Here in Hilo, they do not have that. It is much more traditional, so you might have to wait in line and it might take a while, be prepared. meeting you here. I snagged you something from the buffet. Whoa! Breakfast to go! Breakfast to go! This is amazing and I will eat it. Okay Matthew, tell us what is 36 minutes away that we are heading to. Volcano! Volcanoes National Park! It's like a must do when you're in Hawaii. I'm gonna go check it out. Hawaii. I hope we see some lava. I doubt it, but that would be cool. Well, we might see some. I mean, I don't want to see exploding lava, but I want to see like some dripping lava. I bet we don't see magma. That's <laughs> unless we get a big drill. <laughs> We're in like Flynn and we have to start with the visitor center. Why? I don't know why, but I just feel like it's right. So let's do it. Also, I want to see if they have a sweatshirt inside because once again, elevation equals a little bit of chilliness. Well, this visitor center is a lot bigger than the one from the other day and a lot more busy. <laughs> there's like souvenirs. And then over in here, there's like a movie, I guess you can watch about the park and about the volcanoes and stuff. And then it has like this little uh, display thing with some information about it. Whoa, there's like the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest little, I don't know, it almost looks like a shrimp, but I don't, I don't think it is a shrimp. Oh, I was right. It's a, it is a shrimp. An Opeula red pond shrimp. Oh, that's about the cutest little shrimpiest shrimp I've ever seen. Ah, oh, they have a display about the nanes that are famous around here. Now, based on the name, you may think it's a horse, but it's not. It's like a kind of like a goose-looking bird. Whoa, cool display. Oh, you can click these buttons and hear like their calls. Hear that? I made that bird chirp. Now, as of the time of this video, there was um, some lava that came out um, in November. So some of these trails up here are not open. So we're gonna go down this way to get our best view of the crater. That's something that's really interesting about this national park. Obviously it's Volcanoes National Park, so there's volcanoes, but they're active volcanoes. So the conditions may vary based on when you when you visit here. Um, so since they had some activity back in November, certain trails are closed. Um, but the good thing is there's still a lot for us to see and a lot to view. Um, so it's, it's still gonna be great. But that is just something to keep in mind that this park is very much alive. <laughs> So 
So we've just come down the road from the visitor center to the Kilauea Ike Overlook, and apparently there's like a 0.5 mile trail down and 0.5 back that takes us to overlook the lava tubes. And it's not as busy, I guess, coming this way is what the park ranger told one of our relatives, so we'll see. We were also told it gets very busy in the parking lot fills, and I would say that's correct. It is 10.43 a.m. That side is completely filled, and you see towards this end, it is almost filled. And here we go. Here's our first open view. That is a pretty magnificent view. And over there, see the smoke coming up? Or the steam? Whatever it is. Wait, are there people walking down there? Yeah, there's oh, yeah. a trail through it. Down the trail oh, right there. Oh, cool. It is 68 degrees right now. It feels fantastic. Bit of moisture in the air. It's crisp, clean. No caffeine. <laughs> you know what else we're going to find in the air? Lava. The no, probably not. Hopefully not. <laughs> you know what would be cool? And I'm, I think you can see it sometimes in this park, but not where we're going to be. Right. Is What would be cool is if the the lava flowing into the ocean. Oh, yeah. Leave it on the edge. <laughs> That's a long way down, bud. Ooh, check out the fault line. My uncle just told us that this crater that we've been walking around was formed in 1959. So the trail dropped us off here at this parking lot, and now we're walking across to go check out the lava tube. There are several trails here in the area, but you can just follow the signs if you're wanting to see the lava tube and take it straight to that. Hey Matt, you ready to get tubular? <laughs> They say he lives up here in a big cave. <laughs> here we go. Wow. It's like water dripping down through. It's like a cavern in here. Drip, drip, drip on the wet ground. It's really dark in there, but they do have lights and the temperature drops like 15 degrees once you get in there. I can now say it is totally tubular. Okay, we're on our way to our next trailhead. We're, we were right here and now we're gonna go around over to this uh, Pua Puai Overlook and then head down this devastation trail right here to number five. So this overlook is basically what we saw earlier, but just from the other side, we were over there and there's that trail we saw people walking down and then there's the fault line. Pretty cool infographic here about Kilauea's explosion, how high it was. That is pretty insane. I mean, the this is the- Tallest building in the world, or at least it was at some point. Yeah, and way taller than Empire. That is pretty crazy. interesting looking place it's crazy this feels like very volcano-y this feels like <laughs> mars I, it does it's so like curiosity crazy. rover <laughs> <laughs> but look at these little plants growing up out of the rocks yeah they're so pretty and it's crazy to think something found a way to grow in this uh, environment are you saying life finds <laughs> Away. That is what I'm saying. Where'd you hear that? They got a sign here. It's a bit worn, but it says, Don't pick the berries. Help protect the endangered Hawaiian goose. Leave the ohelo berries in this area for the nene, which we haven't seen. Well, some members of our family saw one the other day in Haleakala, but we haven't personally seen it yet. But nene are very important here. Don't eat their food. Don't eat the berries. Wait, that means that they're gooseberries. <laughs> Here's a look at the map of One the minute. surrounding area. <laughs> so here's where we parked 
and we just took the trail here and now we're here at the devastation trailhead so we're gonna just turn around and go back the same way we came but it's cool because it gives you like kind of the overlook how everything's laid out whoa 1974 lava flow down this chain of craters road just to see what we see. Check it out. I've officially touched lava that has cooled. Check this out, Matt found this um, rock sitting there. And what's crazy is that it is so light. I mean, it's incredibly porous, but. It just has like iridescence all throughout it too. Yeah, I don't, you're not gonna only be able to see it a little bit in the camera, but yeah, it's like iridescent, which is, I, was, I wasn't expecting that. I was also was not expecting it to be this light. It's really cool though. and the greenery back that way. There's a better look at the shoreline far out there. See the waves breaking and such out there. Really cool. And it's really cool. You can see where the lava flowed, that darker area. It just started there at the top, went down, went right down to the ocean. we came back up this chain of craters road and then swung around where we started and made our way up here to this steam vents so that's what we're gonna check out right now steam vents vents that produce steam there are several across the street from the parking lot area here as you can see them all kind of coming up over there all throughout the area but there are there's at least one right here next to the parking lot and here's the one right at the parking lot you can walk right up to it oh and yes it is warm oh it feels great it does feel good it started it started raining it got cooler here within the last few minutes so the steam's not oh we can't see oh there you are <laughs> i got some in my mouth <laughs> i breathed it in it was hot <laughs> Are you sure you're going to stay here the rest of the day? <laughs> yeah, I, it feels good. I just don't recommend breathing it in. So you changed into your long sleeve tea that you purchased. Because it was cold. But look, look all these like little micro droplets from the vent like got stuck to me. Sticking they look like you rolled in sand. Yeah. But no, no sand. No, it's like... It's More like, steam. It's, it's steam. <laughs> what killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age. You know, what was the steam thing? I was thinking that, but what's the steam thing from? Oh, you're thinking the, uh, the Arnold quote? Yeah. Let off some steam. Oh, but that, that wasn't that, man. <laughs> no. That, that was something different. Whoops. <laughs> There's also a second one right off of the parking lot. It's a little more natural looking. 
but steamy nonetheless. No, steam, come back. I'm like soaked now from standing at that one vent for so long. Like you forget <laughs> that it's like water, like, you know, water molecules Deeper. and yeah. stuff. I'm like so wet You're right drenched. now. Now I'm cold. Oh no. <laughs> We are not going to explore the summit of Kilauea, but there's the overlooking map. But we are going to go out this point one trail to the steaming bluff overlook. In the belly of the beast. Hey, there is so much steam coming out from right there. Well, I mean, I think that's it, right? I mean, that, that like, is that's it. That's the volcano, so. That's insane. Down there is the liquid hot magma. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> That is a way to end our tour here at Volcanoes National Park. That is awesome. Bye, car. Day comes full circle. This is what we saw today. Now we're going back to our seven night home. All right, friends, that is going to do it for us here in Hilo. Tomorrow we'll still be on the big island, but we're sailing around to the other side. Dakona. Kona calls our name. So we're gonna end it today, sign off. We'll see you back tomorrow over in Kona. But until then, happy, happy travels. travels. Come on, we need to get back on board before we're late. Come on, let's uh -huh. go.